Kewa Valley Engineering started as a, a very small rural, rural based company in a little town called Dedarang in the middle of the Kewa Valley. I started there in 1978 as an apprentice boiler maker. The original owners were looking at retirement in the mid 80s. Um, myself and my wife purchased the company from them. We do a lot of big jobs, um, anywhere from Papua New Guinea to the Westgate Bridge to New Zealand, Tasmania and all interstate. We operate in the four main sectors of the industry. They're power distribution, transport and infrastructure, mining resources and then some general fabrication work as well. I was interested in getting into engineering, um, so I just went through the phone book, found the first number as the Kiwa Valley Engineering and I Gave him a ring, uh, got a job that the following week and started my apprenticeship uh, about eight and a half years ago now. Well I've only been at KVE for a week and a day now. Um, I suppose it was a couple of weeks ago. I had a look around on the internet for engineering firms that were looking for apprentices and available. Then I gave them a call, sent my resume in a couple of times just to uh, reinforced that I was really keen in getting an apprenticeship. Our recruitment process is probably a fairly typical process. We go, we apply through the, um, the local uh, ATEL, who will go and source apprentices for us through their advertising and their school campaigns. Um, then we have a look at the apprentices and we want somebody who's going to want to carry out the trade that they're coming for. Some, we don't want people who really just want a trade, we want them to want to come and be a part of our business. After I finished year 12 I started looking for apprenticeships and uh, my older sister was living in Albury so I started applying for a few jobs around Albury and I uh, lived with her for a while and got a job here. When we're approached by VCE and year 11 students as to a career here, our first question to them is do you want a career in the factory or do you want a career in the office? Um, there are two definite career paths there, one can turn into the other. Our an apprentice from 33 years ago is just leaving the company shortly, so we, we do recruit and hold our apprentices for a long time. On a day-to-day -day basis in my job, I cut steel, grind, mark it out. I like making things from scratch with my own hands, like see what a job starts as and a finished point of view. It's really exciting because every day there's a You've got different things going on. Our staff is currently at a level of 40 people. That comprises approximately 27 in the factory and 13 in the administration. The people in the factory range in qualifications from tradesmen to machine operators, trades assistants, and we have a couple of apprentices out there in the factory as well. In the office, um, the people vary from qualified engineers to trade experienced people who've come from the floor into the office and operating as project managers, schedulers, uh, estimators in roles such as that. I'm doing a certificate three in fabrication and that is through Wodonga Tafe. Yeah, they always encourage us to get more, um, get more qualifications and train under our belt so we can further ourselves in the future. We're very open to most forms of training and, and encourage our staff to develop their, future, their career. To go ahead, I'm probably looking at probably getting into a career of more into managing. They're all very friendly and they all are professionals and they know what they're doing. I'm currently undergoing a certificate four in frontline management. So they, they do give you adequate training for your career aspirations. We think our company is continually developing. What we do this year we'll do differently next year and a bit better. And being a long-term family owned business, we think that it's a good place to come and start a career because you will be able to finish a career and there is a good opportunity for growth within our business given that we continually change the way we do things as well. I like it because it, um, it's more of a challenge and uh, yeah, it's good to see structures go up and see how they become. Maybe it's a good uh, place to work because there's a lot of good blokes in the shed and we also get a lot of good jobs in. There's, like, there's a different variety of um, work that you get done. KVE embraces technology. We want to take away the image of the old hot and sweaty steel fabricator. Um, we try and grab any technology we can to make our job that we can work smarter and not harder. Um, one of our intentions here is that KVE, whilst we're doing things well today, we want to do them better tomorrow. I love it. I really do. The people are great and they all know what they're doing, professionals, and I really look forward to becoming like them one day.
we're very proud of the fact that we can come from such humble start as a, a little place in Dedarang and look at what we're doing now and having our name on the Westgate Bridge and on the Australian Grand Prix Corporation and, and on projects being delivered to the resource industry in Western Australia, gold mines in Papua New Guinea, uh, to exporting to New Zealand. Uh, makes me feel very proud and, and very thankful for the people we've got around us that enable us to do this.